welcome back to the channel, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Boob it'll skip down those trees. I don't know. I think it's Monday. He's got to be at the office. He just got me, folks. Ben Barber here at Nashville Cars and Coffee doing our thing. First off, I know this is a Ford, but we are with our friends Franklin Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Their info is on the bottom of the screen. Hit them up. Clearly, they've got used vehicles, they got new vehicles. I saw this thing today. And I just had to check it out. So this is a 2020 Ford Edge ST. So it's the sport, small, sport, sport smalls SUV, I guess, whatever you want to call it. I like it. Looks pretty legit, which is why I had to grab it for you guys to check it out today. You don't really see a ton of these on the interwebs, so let's uh, let's get after it. First things first, you'll notice it's kind of got like a little blackout package, grill. All these little, the wheels, the side skirts are black. It's pretty sweet, and you can see all the way around the window trims and stuff, all blacked out. It's pretty awesome looking. I mean, for the midsize SUV market, I like, I don't know, folks. Sorry, I like the look of it. So, first things first, we'll show you the key. Pretty cool key. It's got the ST moniker there, or badge on there, and then all the fun buttons. And we're going to open the rear, so we're going to press this twice. And then this sucker is going to pop open for us. See that ST badge raising to the sky. Pretty cool. Make our way into the interior. It's a fair amount of room. You can see there's Nashville cars and coffee bags there. Uh, banana for scale, if you will. Um, man, I like it. It's There's a ton of room. I'm going to do a little zoom out so you all can get a better look at it. Plenty of room uh, and plenty of textures. And I'm going to lift this up here briefly so you all can see. Look at all this storage space tons and tons of storage space the original floor mats are still in here and i'll show you the ones that they've replaced them with once we get to the inside of the cabin uh but as far as these seats going down you have a couple of buttons here i'm going to press that seat dropped and then the right one but wow <laughs> That was a little aggressive. <laughs> Ford, I was a little aggressive with that seat lay down. Uh, just a couple little areas for storage here I'll show you guys. And that does lay, man, that's pretty flat. And I would say the other one, this left side, probably squish it down a little bit uh, and it'll go flat. But that's, a again, folks, a ton of space. Also with the venting back here, I really like that. They, trying to take care of their passengers. And then you can see there the huge panel roof that goes pretty much from the rear of the behind the head I guess of your rear seat passengers all the way to the front so bear with us we do have some lawn mowing happening around us so you will be hearing some of those noises but uh, we're gonna make our way into this back seat area now oh nice he shut it down before it got too annoying so I'll put these seats back up you do have to have a little bit of aggression to get those up. They are kind of on a hinge. Uh, that wasn't like an electronic thing when I pressed that back there. Um, so it is kind of hinged and you have to fight against it to get the seats up. Nothing too big. I do like the armrest cup holders. It is slouching a little bit. Nothing too bad. It would be nicer if it was kind of fixed position there. So your back seat passengers didn't have to slouch. But I digress. Um, seats feel really nice. I, I'm not sure that this is leather, um, but you kind of got contrasting things like this would be the faux suede, this would be the faux leather, and it, it down on the seats as well. To see across the other side, the door cards are real clean, and one of the things I noticed, I kind of have this curve in uh, on the front and in the rear, which kind of gives you a nice space to put your arm. Sometimes they don't give you enough room here to lay your arm on there comfortably. The edge has definitely got it, which is nice. And then I like the, the double stitch. Pretty cool. The floor mats have the double stitch in them as well. The ones in the trunk. These ones come with the hard plastic. So it's a piece that goes all the way across here. And then up front, they've got some nice ones as well. Decent space for a water bottle there. And this car actually has heated rear seats, which honestly, that's pretty surprising. A couple uh, 12 volt plugs. You got like the regular cigarette lighter and then like literally what you can plug your uh, normal 
lamps, cell phones, all those things can plug into there. Definitely has the rear AC, which is nice. Uh, and, you know, it's a nice, again, show you guys this. I'm not going to open it because it'll completely wash us out in here. But I really do like these pano roofs that they're coming out with now. They're so much nicer. Uh, this does have the auto close, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and make our way into the vehicle. Uh, before we get too far, again, this is a used car. It's a 2020. There's your price. Was and now. And it says no dealer warranty, but I can guarantee you this has a Ford factory warranty because it is so new. Again, door cards, really nice up front. I love the look of the speaker. It's got the Bang & Olufsen uh, stereo, which is cool. Uh, plenty of storage again down there towards the bottom. Let's zoom us out here. I like the little Ford Performance badge running kind of right as you enter. Uh, really kind of cool looking. Make our way in. I haven't really spent any time inside these Fords uh, so to check out kind of the interior of the of these guys. Um, first things first, the AC is loud, so I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. But nice stereo or nice steering wheel. It's kind of nice, like the little ST thing here and the and the fake chromey look of this stuff here. Or I guess it is real chrome, just not like metal, uh, like hard metal. Some of these new steering wheels we're messing around with have this is all like aluminum and stuff. But uh, this is just a cr chrome, uh, plastic covered chrome, or with chrome. You know, I'm, uh, it's Monday. I don't have all my words working for me. So the dash is kind of basic. It does give you a little bit, uh, a little bit of functionality. You can see there on the left hand side, you got the RPM. Directly next to that is all of your safety control ninnies. Now, I love that you can just press one button, one button on, off, and that turns everything. Not j forget about this. That turns all of the ninnies off, which is man. If you don't like it when you lane departure assist and all these other little things, uh, it's nice to have one button to turn it all off. It's very makes life a lot easier. So uh tack straight up in the middle and then you have some more th screens here uh navigation screen and whatnot on the left hand side really more of a uh north south east west kind of scenario uh, now we will make our way get zoomed out again kind of a basic screen i'd say that's probably a six inch screen uh shout out to y'all number folks 11 11. Uh, i've been seeing weird numbers like that for for a while now they just keep popping out at me and look i know they're always happening uh, but you know, it's not every time you get to see them. So yeah, another little weird Ben Barber quirk. Uh, so this is a touch screen, which is nice. We'll hit the, uh, the nav button. Uh, you see it took just a moment there for it to come up. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like Ford for 2022 has a whole new dash that they're coming out with. Um, and, and not to say that this isn't good, but you can kind of tell it's, it's definitely a little bit uh, dated uh, for sure. So we will do what we normally do, which is throw it into reverse so we can see our backup. Uh, you can see it's got the little aiming mabobber for the trailer hitch, uh, if it's there, I guess. And then this, you can like see you zoomed way in. That's pretty cool. It's a nice function for, uh, for one of these. And then it also has your little car there uh which shows you kind of as you get closer to stuff you can kind of see it's not highlighted because we're not close to stuff but as you do get closer to stuff it does begin to warn you um so we make our way kind of down you've kind of got this this is the area that's kind of got me a little confused i feel like you should this should i don't know this should look a lot cooler a lot of the times now people have two different screens here um this is clearly for your air conditioning and for your stereo heated and cooled seats up front that's a big deal folks cooled front seats it's just stuff that were all these super luxury cars were using for so long um so it's really nice that it's it is here in these you know cheaper mid-size suvs remember these were options that were in hundred plus thousand dollar cars uh and now you know half that price you can find them all right so we're going to open up this storage well here press that button and it flips over you can kind of see there is a wireless charging pad right here on the left. 
this is deep too like it's, it goes down in there plenty of storage multiple different power things as well um, so we make our way I threw my cell phone in here so y'all kind of see um, there we go sorry I have this crazy charger and this crazy thing on here so like most cell phones will fit in there I'm the lunatic that has all this extra stuff on here two different cup holders I do like the spinning knob to do the uh, transmission and then you got sport which is right in the middle very simple really easy user-friendly design um, another place to put your cell phone here I'll just go ahead and do it mine actually fits a little better there another place to put your cell phone and then you've got two different storage areas you got this one and then I just don't know how to open it I guess uh, there we go <laughs> so these guys probably need to clean this out uh, but look how deep that is I mean that's the deepest one yet I'll be honest that's the deepest one yet folks uh, someone was really good at really into teeth hygiene because they've got millions of these bobbers down here they're all new and unused which is nice uh, you can see my hand has disappeared under here there's so much room in there what the heck that's crazy okay moving on uh, I do like the faux carbon look here on the dash and then again with plenty of storage inside the glove box I mean this thing uh, this thing is awesome I haven't had a ton of time oh, I was gonna say I lost the key and y'all love this too look how much room is underneath the seats there's plenty of room to lose all your fun stuff again with the hard floor mats down there on the bottom uh, we go ahead and pop our hood check out the engine then I'll let you folks get back to your wonderful day that I know you're having uh, if y'all can kind of see you can kind of see the glitter yeah y'all can see look at that sparkle in that paint folks that's uh that's really pretty cool yeah, you can see it there. So, really nice paint on this thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So, here's your 2.7 liter twin turbo V6 EcoBoost motor. Just kind of hiding in there. Remember, this thing is all-wheel drive. And, man, it's just got such an aggressive... I know a lot of these have... Let me close this down. It's got such an aggressive front look to it. You can kind of see the sun hitting the daytime running lights there that's definitely what they look like as you're rolling so it's kind of a menacing car as it comes up behind you the black roof it's really really looks cool so well folks this has just been a quick look around as i bumble my way through all the different functionalities oh the windows are tinted too that's pretty cool uh again we got this car from our friends at franklin chrysler dodge jeep and ram their info is on the bottom of the screen if you're interested in one of their used cars it's on the website if you want a new truck it's on the website so hit that website up go check them out for my man Bo Biddle which he could be over here doing some weed eating we don't know let the man work we'll get back to him I am Ben Barber we'll see you guys in the next video